Hey everybody, Ms. Dietrich here helping you solve some very complex ratio problems like the one we're looking at here. Most television shows use 13 minutes of every hour for commercials, leaving the remaining 47 minutes for the actual show. One popular television show wants to change the ratio of commercial time to show time to be 3 to 7. Create two ratio tables, one for the normal ratio of commercials to programming, which we're going to put over here, and another for the proposed ratio of commercials to program, which we're going to put over here. Use the ratio tables to make a statement about which ratio would mean fewer commercials for viewers watching two hours of television. Now before we begin, let's think about what they're talking about here. What are the labels they're giving us? Now here we have 13 minutes of every hour for commercials, and here we have leaving the remaining 47 of minutes for the actual show, and then we should know that we're talking about an hour if we add this plus this. So one hour show, has 13 minutes of commercials, 47 minutes for the actual show. So that means we really are talking about three different things here. When we make our T table, let's make a double T table so we can include all that information. All right, so we have total time. And I apologize that it's a little difficult to write with a mouse with this marker, but I'll do the best I can. We have the commercial time. And then we have the actual show. Showtime, we'll call that. All right, in a normal programming, we have 13 minutes for the commercials, and then we have 47 minutes for the show. Now, if we add these two numbers together, we're going to get the 60 minutes, which, by the way, is equal to one hour. All right, so all of this is in minutes, so let's keep track of that. All right, now if we go to the other problem, I'm just going to separate this with a line. Let's look at the changed proportions or uh, ratios. All right, so they're talking about a 3 to 7. Now it's important that we go back and reread and figure out what does the 3 refer to commercial time or does it refer to the show time or something else. So let's go back and reread that. One popular television show wants to change the ratio of commercial time to show time. So the, the 3 would have to go with the commercial time and the 3 would have to go with the show time. So let's put it in our change ratio table. Remember this is total time over here and we have commercial time and now we have show time. And the ratio that they give us is a 3 to 7 ratio. I'm getting that right from here. Now if we add, you know how here if we add these two things we're going to get the 60 minutes. We're going to do the same thing with these two numbers to get the total time. 7 plus 3 would be 10. All right, so now let's think about what, how many minutes, because let's just assume that this is minutes. How many minutes would be in an hour? Well, we, earlier we talked about that as being 60 minutes. So let's put that in this t-table, just to help ourselves wrap our brain around what we need to do next. Now, if we use what we know about ratio tables, um, what do we have to do to 10? to get 60, and maybe you're realizing if we do 10 times 6, we're going to get 60. Well, let's do that same thing with the 3, and let's do that same thing with the 7, and then we'll get the next values in, the, in this table. If we do 3 times 6, we're going to get 18, and if we do 7 times 6, we'll get 42. All right, so that means following this ratio, for a one-hour show, which is 60 minutes, we have 18 minutes of commercials, 42 minutes for the actual show, and these two numbers do add up to be 60. Now, they're not talking about one hour, they're talking about two hours. So that means 120 minutes total. And that would be true over here as well, wouldn't it? 120 minutes total, that's what but is equal to two hours. All right, so now if we kind of go back, there's a couple ways we can do this. Some people like to prefer to go back to the original ratios because they're the numbers that are they're, they're most simple. 10 times what would be 120? And maybe you're coming up with times 12. Well, we can do that same thing with the 3. 3 times 12 would be 36. 7 times 12 would be 84. And we're going to use that same thinking over here. 60 times what is 120? And wouldn't it be times 2? So to finish this up, just multiply times 2 and times 2. 
Hey, everybody.